Right, I've just really got the last document open and then deleted it back to where you see it at the moment. So there's actually not much here. Now we're actually going to look at manipulating data. So I'm actually going to create three variables. I'm going to have num1, comma, num2, comma, sum, semicolon, integer, and then a colon. Oops, if I spell integer right, that is. There we go. Now, you could actually declare this like you would any normal variable. You could have num1 as an integer, new line num2 as an integer, new line sum as an integer. But using the commas, as long as they're all the same type of variable, definitely is more efficient code. Less lines are less coding to do the same job. Very easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually assign some data to num1 and num2. Num1, well that all becomes, oh, I don't know, 23. Then num2 becomes 51 or something. And then sum is going to become num1 plus num2. Just don't forget to put your colons on the end of the lines. Now, so that will we'll add num1 and num2 together, and the total of those added together will be stored in sum. Okay, then we're going to go right ln sum, read ln to pause the display. Remember, if those of you who are using Free Pascal like me, you must first compile, which is Alt and F9, and then run, which is Control and F9. If you're using Turbo Pascal, you just have to run it. Anyway, it's added them together, 74. Okay, so num1 plus num2, which is 23 plus 51 equals 74. We can actually change that to a minus. Again, compile and then run for you who are using Free Pascal. Minus 28. Or we'll change it to a multiple sign. One thousand one hundred and seventy-three. However, I can't do a divide sign. Why not? Think about it. The reason is sum is an integer. Now, if I was to divide num one, um, num one by num two, I would get a decimal place, which cannot be distorted in the sum. I will end up having a um, error and the program will quit. But that's just it for manipulating data.